we have a nice uh, high intensity interval training workout today. We're going to start warming up here with some short little 30 second intervals and we'll just start with hops. So you can hop side to side. Start to get your little hop going. And if the hop doesn't feel good on your knees or it doesn't feel right, you can always just turn it into a little funky step. Always fine. Okay, keep it going. And now we're gonna switch it up. Go ahead and stand in your spot, reach up, stretch high, and reach down. See if you can bend your knees, maybe touch those toes. Reach up, and touch your toes. Thinking of warming up and just using all those muscles. Doesn't have to be anything crazy or strenuous. Just waking up. Okay, we're gonna change it up. Come down into a little squat. Make sure it's a nice squat with the knees pointing out over the toes, big open chest, and we're just gonna pulse that tailbone down and up. So really good to be picky with your squat legs here, starting to think about alignment. The knees always point over the toes, and the tailbone always points down. Shoulders open. Good. Changing it up here, stand up tall, draw one knee up, and then the other knee. Bring that knee up high, high, high. Okay, wanna feel your abs, lower abs, start to wake up as you pull that knee in towards your chest. Great. We're gonna switch it up again here. Put your hands by your ears, hinge at your hips, and just bow forward so that your upper body is parallel to the ground. It's called a good morning, okay? Come up from your good morning, give a squat. Again, good morning, and squat, okay? Let's take a few more like that. You can bend your knees during your good morning if you want to, to make it more gentle. Good, stretch for the backs of the legs. Good. Come on down to your plank position now. Remember that means that you can always drop your knees in your plank. No problem. Okay. We're going to climb. Bring one knee forward at a time like you're trying to tap your elbows. If you get really excited here and spicy, try to tap your nose. Keep climbing your mountain. You can always do this with the knees down. Good. Okay, from your plank, two feet on the ground, walk your hands back to your feet and stand up. We're coming back down, walk the hands out to a plank. That's all we're gonna do. Again, walk it back to your feet. Stand up, hands on the floor, walk it to your plank. You should be getting nice and warm here. Okay, go ahead and hold your plank. Hold here with me. Okay, this completes our warm up as we hold our plank here. You should be nice and warm and ready for some uh, longer intervals of movement, okay? We're going to start adding in a little 10 second break between our 30 second intervals of work, okay? Our first will be a squat burpee, okay? You're gonna hop to your hands or step. Hop up or just reach up back to your squat with your hands on the ground and then you can hop or step back to your plank, okay? A squat burpee. As you're ready, here we go. We're gonna do 30 seconds here. Reach up, knee squat burpee, and hop. Okay, keep it up. Doing those 30 second intervals of work here. A little 10 second breaks in between. short interval at first. Good. Three, two, and one. Now you rest for 10 seconds. What's next is just jumping jacks. Okay, very familiar. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Jacks. Now you could always step it out and just do one side at a time. During your jumping jacks, you still got your fantastic posture. Tailbone pointing down. Heart open and shoulders down. And of 
Where's the smile? If it feels good. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest for 10 seconds. Come on down to your plank shape. We're gonna do a push up and then reach up with one hand. A T rotation. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's go. Reach and push up. Other side, reach and push up. Keep going here. If you wanted to do this on your knees, you could do it with two knees down on the push up, one knee down on that side plank shape. Three, two, and one. Rest for 10 seconds. What's coming next is a fast climber. You can run your mountain climbing shape or you can just take a walk. It's up to you. Three, two, and one. Let's climb. Now spread your fingers nice and wide and push the floor. Strong arms. Make everything easier here. Good, halfway through our little mountain climb. Nice, three, two, and one. Come on up to standing. Next up, the, the right foot is gonna be forward and you're gonna hop it side to side in your lunging shape, okay? Three, two, and one. Right foot forward in your lunge, hop side to side. Do what you like with your hands. I like to put my arms up, but you can always rest them. Keep it up. Posture, three, two, and one. Rest, we switch sides. Left foot is forward now, we hop it side to side. Three, two, and one. Hop it side to side. If you needed to make your lunge shape shorter, that would be a good modification. If you want more spice, make your lunge deeper. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest for 10 seconds. What's next is you're gonna do a little squat, squat, jump, okay? Just like that, squat, squat, jump. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Squat, squat, jump. Short rest today in between our intervals, 10 second rest. It's all right. Interval training is so effective for building endurance. Keep it going. Good, three, two, and one, rest. Next up, jumping jacks, but you're gonna add a little arm up every other time your arms come up. Three, two, one, let's go. Jumping jack, variation. It's okay if it doesn't all come together at once. You could always just do regular jumping jacks. It's really just about moving the shoulders around here. That extra shoulder mobility. Good, three, two, and one, rest. Okay, down in your plank shape, plank jacks are next. You can step it or hop it in three, two, and one, plank jacks. So you could also use the knees here. And just make a, a gentler movement out of it. Strong upper body here. You're gonna lunge with the right leg back and then drive the right knee forward. Three, two, and one. Lunge and drive it. Lunge and drive. Good. You can make your lunge really small 
if you need a little soft modification or if you want spice, send that clip back there. Rest, switching sides, left foot back to the lunge. We'll drive the left knee forward. In three, two, and one. Left knee back, left knee up and forward. Back and up. Make your lunge work for you. As deep or shallow as you need it. Put your hands down, walk your hands forward, now your feet walk to your hands, and then walk it back to your plank. Hands walk back to feet, three, two, one. Call it an inchworm. Make a little inchworm shape. Lower body, upper body strong. Three, two, and one. Rest. Okay, come on down to a push up position. You're going to do a push up. Walk one hand out to the side, do a big wide push up. Back to center, and then the other side. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Center, and wide. It is hard, so you can drop your knees, right? Rather than quit. You can always modify before you quit. But keep it up. Great. Three, two, and one. Come on up to standing. Prisoner squat, fingers by your ears. You're gonna do a prisoner squat, top. Prisoner squat, heel top. Okay, three, two, and one. Prisoner squat, one heel tops the other. Okay, nice chance to catch our breath. Good, three, two, and one, rest. Next up is a squat jack, okay? You're gonna squat down, do your jumping jack. In three, two, and one. Squat, jack. When you're squatting, remember, bend into those knees. Let the tailbone sink down. Let the legs work hard. Forward and open. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. Okay, I'm going to give you about a minute to rest, grab a drink of water, do what you need to do. We're switching to a different interval. We're going to do 40 seconds on, 10 seconds of rest now. All different stuff. Keep resting now. Take your full minute. Stretch. Maybe stretch out your quads if you're standing. All right, about halfway through your rest, grab that second drink of water. And we'll get right back to work. About halfway through our workout today. Hopefully you're feeling really good, really pumped. Okay, you keep resting, I'm gonna show you what's next. Next up, you're gonna lunge the right foot back, then you're gonna send the right heel up and top it. So lunge and tap, okay? We're gonna go there in three, two, and one. Lunge and tap. That right foot up, right foot down. Now you can make this a really small movement, or you can make it really big and dramatic. You decide. 
20 second interval of work today for this round. Keep the posture good and open. Good, three, two, and one. Now you get a 10 second rest while we switch sides. Left foot back, make your lunge big or small. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lunge, tap. Keep your heart big. Squat, pop up and tap your heels. Three, two, and one. Squat, heel tap. Squat, heel tap. Okay? Kind of a big challenge for your legs. So, embrace it. If jumping isn't appropriate, you just stand up and tap the heel. Make it real gentle. Halfway through your 40 seconds. Rest for 10 seconds. What's next is just rope jumps. So grab your imaginary jump rope. Get ready. Three, two, and one. Let's jump. Okay. Maybe, because the jump rope is imaginary, you do some double jumps. And remember, after you go one direction, you want to switch it and have the hands go back. Squat, punch, squat, punch. Getting close to the end of our workout. Three, two, and one. Squat, pow, squat, pow. Get some shoulder rotation in it, okay? One shoulder moves back, the other one moves forward. Twist. Challenge yourself to get low in that squat. Why not, right? Why not get the leg workout while we're here? Almost there. Three, two, and one. Rest. Okay, what's next? A little prisoner squat, fingers by your ears, and then one leg lunge. Prisoner squat, other leg. Three, two, and one. Keep the heart open and tall. If the arms get tired, rest. Those hands on your hips. Big leg strength in this workout today. We are growing so much right now. Awesome. Three, two, and one. Rest. Come down to your plank position. For this one, we have a push up, and then we're going to push back to this little lifted hands and knees thing, okay, or hands and feet. Let's go, push back, push up, and push back. 40 seconds of work here. If you need to use your knees, 
please. Drop them. Big challenge for the quads here. Upper body challenge, core challenge, full body strength. how heavy it is. Good, you're halfway through this interval. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. Come down to plank position. Remember your burpee? We're gonna do a push up. Burpee. Okay? Three, two, one. Push up. Burpee. Burpees are great. Full body work. Really can't get much better than a burpee. Keep it going. Feeling the burn here. It's good. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. Nice. Next up, X jumps. You're going to touch your toes and then explode into an X shape. Three, two, one. Touch your toes. Explode. If you wanted to keep one foot down, you could. Just make that big X. Hard work for the legs. That is for sure. Just embrace it. It's building strength and endurance. Go ahead, three. Two, and one, rest. One more in this round. Slams, reach up like you're grabbing something big and heavy, and slam it down. Three, two, one, reach, slam it. Get nice and strong, really intentional. No sissy slamming, just some strength. Push those barriers down. Push those obstacles down. Halfway through this interval. Good. Three, two, and one. Rest. Come on down to your plank position. Woo. Welcome down to the mat. We're staying down here. 
our last bit of work. We'll call it our finisher, okay? It's gonna be one solid, beautiful minute of hand release push-ups. So here we go, three, two, and one. Come all the way down, lift your arms and legs up, push all the way back up. That's it, one solid, beautiful minute here. Can you use your knees? Absolutely. Just don't quit. Our finisher here. This is gonna be the last of our work. After this, I promise, I'll be nice and we'll cool down and stretch. Nothing more. You're more than halfway through your beautiful minute of hand release of big push-ups. I'm right here with you. Almost there. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Amazing work. Rest. Come on up into a child's pose. Let your hips drop back. Let your head drop down. Take a breath or two here. Whew. Just let your your heart rate slow down a little bit. Nice work, that was a tough, tough workout. It's important that we stretch and cool down a little bit, so come on up, two hands and knees. Take your right hand up, take a big breath in. And exhale, reach under that left arm, very, very, very far. And do it again, inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach under. So keep going. Maybe just close your eyes and just link this movement with your breath so masterfully that it naturally slows and cools down all of your systems. We want to cool down gradually whenever we can to minimize injuries and soreness and maximize benefits. Okay, next time. Come up with that hand, hold it right there, big stretch for your upper body. And then switch, left hand up, big breath in. body, the whole spine, cool down. Next time you reach up, hold it, stretch a little wider. And all the hands are down. Wow, you did it. Thanks so much for training with me. I'll see you next time.